South Korea is known as a safe country where people can typically walk around alone even at night. But the recent murder of a young woman has put a spotlight on the issue of crimes targeting women. Local governments in the country are trying to promote services intended to keep women safe. NHK World's Kim Chanju has more. 누구나 피해자가 될수 있었던 상황이었기에 여성들은 큰 충격을 받았습니다. Last month, a 23-year-old woman was stabbed to death by a stranger in a public restroom in Seoul. The suspect said he held a grudge against women who ignored him. According to police, he saw six men pass by before attacking a woman. I'm so sorry to hear about the news of a young woman's tragedy. Now I'll go back home early, not to meet such a horrible event. A makeshift memorial was set up where the woman was stabbed. Seoul's government has moved the memorial site to City Hall to preserve it. At this memorial, there are countless messages mourning the loss of the young victim. They say things like, we want to live in a safe society for women. Seoul has been implementing measures to prevent crimes targeting women. One of them is a free service provided on community buses. It's a wireless Bluetooth device. It automatically sends a text message to a family member when a passenger gets on or off the bus. The note includes when, where and what the plate number of the vehicle is. People can use the service just by downloading the free application. So far, more than 2,000 people are using this app. There are dark alleyways without street lights on my way home. So I often use the text message service. My parents are also glad to know I'm safe. Seoul is also providing a free walk-safe service. Yurina works as a fitness trainer. She often returns home late at night. Yu says she's been followed by strange men in the past. Now Yu makes a phone call before she gets on the subway. When she arrives at the station, two staff are already there. The walk safe service helps 19,000 clients get home safely. I sometimes feel dangerous as I'm living alone. The dispatched staff escorts me to my doorway, watching me shut my door safely. Now I can go out without worrying about coming home late. I really appreciate this service. Seoul city officials say the numbers of users for walk-safe services are steadily increasing. They say they intend to continue funding to meet the demand. Kim Chanju, NHK World, Seoul.